Kristoff recently wrote an editorial piece in which he charged that the Republican administration is returning the environment to a pre-Teddy Roosevelt state of destruction. What would you do to protect the environment? My overriding philosophy on environmental issues uh, is the basic rule that backpackers follow. Our family likes to backpack. And the rule is you leave your campground and the ground you traveled over in at least as good a condition as you found it. And I believe that uh, we should follow that same rule as generations of human beings leave this planet for future generations in at least as good a condition as we found it. The you know, Environmental Protection Act is being chiseled away. Um, my opponent gets a 0% rating from the League of Conservation Voters. There are so many bills. There's the Clean Air Act, which actually in some ways allowed more uh, emissions. Uh, the Healthy Forest Act, which some people have referred to as no tree left behind. Um, there are so many examples, the uh, loosening of uh, regulations in national parks uh, that would tend to allow more motorized vehicles and that type of thing. Uh, in two minutes, it's hard to go into each little one. But basically, I can assure you, I have a strong commitment uh, to protection of the environment. And it's not a matter of human beings versus the spotted owls. I mean, we all depend on the a healthy environment for our own mental and physical health. Well, the way we protect the uh, environment is to attempt to try and have a partnership between the public and the private sectors. In some cases, to try and utilize market forces in ways that create incentives for those kinds of uh, activities that um, are less offensive to the environment. I think one of the things we have to recognize is that we've made some real progress. Uh, Democrats, Republicans, all of us as Americans together. I grew up in Southern California. I remember Bob Hope used to say, I'm from Los Angeles and I don't uh, trust any air I cannot see. Um, the smog used to be much, much worse down there than it is today. I remember when we first moved up here in 1988, uh, when they had the burnings of the rice fields. I'd never seen anything like that before. I didn't know what the soot coming down from the air was. We don't do that now. What we basically do now is have a program where we've been able to have the rice growers work in common cause with those who support waterfowl, and we flood those, uh, those fields instead of burning the stubble there, and we find it breaks it down. It also creates tremendous opportunity for waterfowl in this area. There's a whole host of things. We need to have alternative energy sources, not only because uh, alternative energy sources are necessary. A diversity in energy sources is consistent with national, uh, national protection. Uh, to the extent that we are more and more, um, we more and more rely only on a, a single source, petroleum, uh, to that extent we have a possibility of a more unstable um, world. And so in many of these cases, we look to alternative uh, energy sources, we see energy sources that can be more environmentally sound than what we had before. So I don't think that there is a, a great uh, divide between Democrats and Republicans, conservatives and liberals on this. Frankly, I think there's a, a, a lot of commonality. If you look at ratings from the League of Conservation Voters with representatives like Matsui and Thompson, who get very high ratings compared to uh, Doolittle, my opponent, and Pombo, who get 0% ratings. Give one specific example of a program I definitely favor. The bill signed by Governor Schwarzenegger, passed by the state leg legislature here, to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions down to 1990 levels at the state uh, level. I would support uh, that same legislation at the federal level. I think we've made some uh, tremendous progress. I've supported any number of bills uh, in the Congress uh, while I have been there. Uh, usually they say, well, you voted against the Clean Air Act. Well, you got to look at the, the one I voted for. Voted against one when it busted the budget, voted for it uh, when it didn't bust the budget. You look at the Clean uh, Water Act, the very same thing. What I have been looking for are methods by which we can have cooperation between the private sector and the public sector when we can use market forces to help drive us in the right direction. I've been a big supporter in terms of the area of energy, uh, of hybrid, of um, 
all sorts of different things that will allow us to use the market in ways that Americans together can make decisions that will benefit us, both in terms of their, their private lives, but also in terms of protection of the environment.